But we found this little cave and it is kind of creepy. So, uh, the boys will follow me. And it is a little bit scary. Okay, I don't really even know how to navigate it. Okay, so the hole, I'm going in a, uh, you know, it's not gonna have graphics in a downward direction. Almost completely vertical. I'm, I'm almost facing uh, completely down. So I'm putting my legs in, I'm putting my camera at my feet and I'm going downhill. I'm just, I'm just uh, one of the techniques we use is just shushing ourselves along the rocks. Ah, just some mosquitoes and stuff. Uh, we just bump along the rocks and let gravity kind of pull us down in. Although this is not something you'd want to do by yourself. And as always, you got to watch where you're putting your feet because in this cave, with uh, all the uh, heroin needles and such, it's not exactly uh, a good experience. Boy, I tell you what, it's tight. Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, not a problem, it's a little tough. Good morning, and look who we found. It's Jacob, we found Jacob. We got the original gangster, Joel the Mole, with us today, and we're out here in the city park. And Joel, what is the rumor about this park? Well, apparently there's supposed to be these cracks in the ground with caves inside of them. And there, there's a bunch of homeless people here and they throw all their garbage in. These caves are filled with garbage and trash and water and sewage. This is actually a very dangerous area with, with the cliff and everything that's behind us. But uh, we're gonna go through all this today and see if we can find that big cave and try to show it to you. And if there's any passages too small for me, that'll be Jacob. Mm -hmm. And if there's any two passages too small for Jacob, we now have Joel the Mole. So we found this cave. Calvin just spotted it on the out of the corner of his eye, and it's called Bud's Blunder. And now we're just deciding to go inside of it. Um, so it's very tight. And a big drop over here. And can you do that? A few big drops, just just a few. And then Jacob was like. Oh my gosh, it's so deep. Because you can't see that ledge that you're on. And, yeah. All right, Jacob. Here it comes. Snake, <sighs> snake the Jake. Man, ew. Show him that ledge there. Make sure he seat spots it. And then you go turn around, there's another ledge, and then the floor. It's, you got wider legs than everybody, so. And then we got to figure out how to get out of this room. Here comes Nanu. Oh, hey. Here comes Joel. Is yeah. that underwear? What is that? Yeah, it is it's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> now Jacob's really gonna... Let's go, bloody buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move so you can see Joel coming down in here. Cool, this is great. Welcome to the desert of the real. We found a real cave. Look at this. It's a real cave, huh? Yeah. You don't fall down to the right. Let's go, pee pants. I've got it. The heck, this is so tight. It's pretty tight through there, huh? Oh, my butt. Yeah, mine too. That's why I lost my skivvies. <laughs> Other reasons too, but I don't want to talk about them. <laughs> you can come down here, Joe. Oh, it'd be very hard to find a way back out of this. I don't know why I'm scared. Or not. It'd be crazy not to come in here. Glow sticks. Well, bud, probably. Bud. There's, there's gloves down there. Is it two gloves? Yeah, grab them. Is it two gloves or is it just one big glove? Looks like two. It's just one. It's one, it, yeah, it looks like it has uh, fingers on it. Let's have a look at it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty decent. It's a good glove. Hey, there's a bra. Well, put it on, put it on. This is great. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> what year is it? Oh, it's just charcoal. Somebody's lighting a fire in here. It's lighter fluid. So this cave is about 15 foot ceiling in here. What? 
You're welcome. It says taste. Drop in. There's probably a whole poop in here. It says taste the food on it. Yeah. Oh, look, a oh, snail. Still oh, that snail food. looks like it's AIDS. Where? Right here. AIDS snail. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to see if I can find a way through here. Well, there's a way that way where the bra is. Is there? Yep. So I'm going down in this deep room. Ah! You want to look up there? See if you can see anything? Goes way up, huh? So I'm dropping down in here, but I have to go a little bit slow because... Ah! Okay, I'm down in the pit. Yeah. There's a chimney. You guys coming to the pit? Uh, sure. Cool. I found an unopened Bosch from like 1919. Great, let's see the date on that. There's some magazines here. I mean, comic books or something. Ah. Pretty pretty cool cave though, huh? It's not yeah. bad, not bad. It's like the seventh comb. There's so many. Well, homeless people got to comb their hair too. Oh, this is a sideways one. That's no good. Everything. We have crazy. a lovely 1985 Nintendo. Looks like, I can't read that. What does that say? Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Is lovely. It has Wonder Woman. It has Thor. Has everyone you wish to have. Is it dated? Um. Yeah, right there. What's it say? Eighty-five. Eighty-five. That's awesome. It. Somewhere. There's a crawl. Are you looking for the crawl, Joel? Yeah. Okay. So if the way out is that way, the crawl is Joel's way. Well, gee, Joel's just. There is. Definitely crawl in here. Cool. Hey, there's a really, really, really old sexy. Cool. Like it's sexy old. Like a cool can? Yeah, look at this. Well, we've lost Joel to the disparaged pit. There's no garbage like in here. Baby game. Yeah, because nobody goes in here, huh? Yeah. Cool, Joel found a place that people are afraid to go. There's an area up here, too. Okay. And there's some rocks. Cool. This will be good to film you guys going through. Face. Oh, you can go down too. Ah, I gotta get in here. To... Oh, look at that. That goes way up. Oh, this is not fun. But this no, is but awesome. it but it exists. Oh, you have to literally just go. Yeah, you have to fall into it. What about that way? You can check. You can stick your head back. That's all you can do. There's still some more stuff out here. My legs are jammed. Is that the Ouch. other? Ouch. My legs are jammed. That's okay. Like, let me move it up. Here we go. Well, so over this way, it's... it's. Go up there and I, I, I'll i go. I can follow you up after you're in there. Hold up. And then... There's like a room this way. Yeah, you can take a look. Uh, it goes up. There's a room. Yeah. We're going up too. Considerably up. See you later, Joel. Bye. It goes this way too. They probably connect. Let's see. Gosh, that's tall. Yeah, no, we're in it. We're in it and taking off. Oh, I see your guys' light up there. Yeah, you probably do. It goes both ways. Your way looks ten times easier. Yeah, well, it's fun too. Joel's just keeping it going. We don't know where he's we've lost Joel. <sighs> Yeah. Ah. And then if one of you will go slower, like Jacob, I can turn around and film you, but I just can't film you both at the same time. It's a problem. Okay, so we're all crammed in a very small space. <laughs> now I can keep going. Oh, yeah. This is uh, tight, but it exists. <sighs> oh, wow. Yeah, there's my little area. Is that your little area? Down, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go in. It. Okay. Oh, that's that. Does that way continue? I'm pushing it pretty tight here. Right. I'm gonna say no. Oh, I, I can see your light above Joel. Yeah, I can get in here physically, but the space is just enough to squat. That's definitely, and I'm gonna try to squat back down. Tell this is uh, right? Let me film you. Not, gonna... We just found this hole straight down here. 
right here I'm sitting in it at the end of this some sort of breakdown cave and it seems to go about 15 feet straight down. I'm gonna try to wedge myself in it, see if the cave continues somewhere down there and push it beyond its known limits. Yeah, and and uh, I'm gonna find some footholds. Foothold has been acquired. Oh gosh, this is terrifying. Woo! Yeah, it goes straight down, huh? Oh, that's terrifying. You're gonna have to do a reverse. Jacob's been doing pull-ups at the gym, so he's got a lot more upper body strength. I can do 16 in a row, believe it or not. And he's been doing leg ups, so he's got a lot of upper booty strength. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. use that forever. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use this rock here. Oh, this is terrifying. And there's Joel right there, pretty, pretty tight in here. We're, we're losing Jacob. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks awesome, dude. I can't see anything. Yep. I know what you get there, Hop. It is straight down though. There's, it's clean. There's not garbage or anything. Right. I, I, I can't see anything. I'm like, I know. It's hard to breathe on them. No, it, it, it is hard to breathe. I'm just suffocating. I know. Oh gosh. This just keeps on going and going, doesn't it? Okay. I gotta turn. Oh. Oh, this sucks. Oh, you're in there, huh? Ah. Uh. Oh, hey. All right. Um, first, head out, head feet first. Head first. You can go ahead first. We're here. We can pull you out. Uh, John Jones style. Uh, here goes Jacob. Oh, uh, what the heck? Oh, this is crazy. Uh, oh, it's like another room. Should uh, I be following you for the camera? What? Should I be following you for the camera? Uh, hold on a second. Okay. Well, this is a pretty neat cave. Blood's Bunder is now Blood's Diarrhea. We're coming out this way. All right. Those rooms just connect. That's what's happening there. So you're coming down? And so here, there appears to be um, tons of rocks, like multiple different shattered rocks from the cliffside, and over years, the mud has just like mashed them together to where they're unbreakable. And Joel, his room is connects to the room that Jacob just went down. So we found connecting rooms. It's a little mazy, honestly, don't you think? Yeah. Jacob keeps leaving, I keep saying stop, and he just keeps leaving. Well, Jacob, where'd you go? I'm tying my shoes. Well, don't, I'm joking. Is Joel with you now? Yeah. Yep. Okay, is that the way out or is this yep. the way? Okay. For the most part. Uh, that one's nice and tight. Right. And where did your cave come out at? Is there? Uh, or back here? Uh, I'll point it here. Uh, it came out below you. Oh, there? Yeah. It sucked. That's awesome, dude. That's oh. cool. I'm gonna. We'll check the uh, map. And I see. had to flip my lungs. Here comes Joel. I'll try to keep the light direct out of your eyes directly, but this is a uh, a nice tight squeeze. Joel's coming up through to leave the cave, and uh, I've got the big light on him, so it's just terrifying. Hear the traffic coming. Now it's time to hold my breath for Calvin's wonder. Yes. Excellent. You can, oh, I guess either way. There he goes, cool. Let's see Jacob coming out. Here comes Nanu. Light off. There you go. Yeah. Not uh, blind. Yeah, ah, so. My back. One of the things that's got to be understood about this is Jacob always has the light in his face. It's very difficult to operate. If you set that forward, I'll just take it. And just go ahead and come on out. Hold my back somewhere. That is a vertical pit, but gear was not needed. It's outstanding. Here comes Jacob. Ah. Ow! Mm. Oh, that hurt. You gotta be like, oh, I think I put my foot in a needle. 
Now I hit my shin on a sharp rock. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I slam my foot down against it. So I, well, there's no good shin guards, but shins are the thing that I, if I hurt, that's what I hurt is my shins. Right. Ouch. Now everything hurts. I need an award for my photography angles here. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> if you already slow, or Christmas will be here by the time you get out of Bud's Blunder. Yeah. Okay. And then we need to immediately go up the hill. Immediately? Okay. So we are out of the little cave. We went through a couple of spots today that were nasty and dirty and inconvenient. Uh, sort of like Joel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Don't take this. We, uh, but but this is a pretty steep cliff. See, down the cliff, the cliffs crack and they, uh, they fall away. Uh, the big cracks form and they fall away. And then these big talus caves. And then in the bottom, in the rubble, was a pretty tremendously cool cave that was a nice little maze. I mean, it went a few hundred feet back in there. We think we found new passage. It's not a big deal because it's not a big cave, so we're not taking it real serious today. Jacob found a bulletproof steel plate, which we're gonna take home because it's bulletproof. And uh, I just want to show you guys what we're doing out of the cave on the way out. Friends helping friends. Nice to have Joel with us today. Oh, that's how we got in, huh? I forgot about that. This is Tracy's cave. Lights on, huh? This is the way out. I'll follow you. I guess I could pay one of you guys to go in the mine. Will you? You want to determine how much money you're going for right now before we get there? Sure. I'll give you 50 bucks if you go in there. Is it worth 50 bucks, Jacob? No, nope. Jolt, go ahead. <laughs> that is full. You have to go 50 feet for 50 bucks. What? You have to go to the end. Nope. <laughs> yeah. That goes over your head, doesn't it, the water? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is a little lower, though. You can see how pretty it is. So, we've made it home. And I just thought, what's more exciting than eating food? on video in slow motion. Anyways, Joel, thanks for going with us today. Jacob's gotta to go back to homework. Joel has dropped out of school. <laughs>